or monks even. Monks, man, they are weird. <laughs> like how they take, well. You know why they're weird? Why? Because for thousands of years, monks were the best brewers on the planet. Mm. They made the best alcohol on the planet. Did not know that. I just, I just think that it's crazy how they, they take the vow of silence and they learn to control their body so much that they're almost not, not, not that they're invincible, but they're invincible to pain. They have such a high tolerance. Yeah. Like, uh, there was this one guy that, uh, was like, like laying on spears, like actual spears and they yeah. weren't piercing his body because yeah. he could, do stuff with his body to not make the spears go in and the one that was uh i think that he was protesting against the vietnam war the one oh, that, when he set himself on fire yeah and the, and the rage against the machine album cover and stuff like that they the people that witnessed that said that he didn't scream there was no movement yeah he simply sat there and died and okay, i know i know you're a big comedy person but so like i love richard pryor yeah. You know when Richard Pryor set himself on fire? Yeah. It was because of that monk. <laughs> well, he, what's him the, and his like uh, bodyguard was watching it on TV, and his dude was like, you see that man's conviction? He's standing up for what he believes in. And Richard was like, man, he set himself on fire. Screw his conviction. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And then his his guard was like, he said he got up, went through the house. Then like five minutes later, he came running through on fire. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, maybe crack had something to do with that. It definitely did. Back in the day. It definitely did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> definitely did. Pryor, Pryor's one of the best to ever do it, crack or not. But, <laughs> but, but the monks, I mean, like, I know we can't talk to them because they take the whole vow of silence thing, and it pisses me off because I'd love just to <laughs> – I mean, what goes on inside a person's mind if you don't talk your entire life? I mean, go decades without speaking a word. Yeah. I don't know, like what? I don't know. I just love to get inside their mind and see what their thought process yeah. is. Like. <clears throat> probably superhumans. They can probably levitate at this point. Who knows? Yeah. Man, I took a uh, class in college on Buddhism. And... I've an ex accused me of being a closeted Buddhist. I'm not. I'm. I'm just it's intrigued. A religion, though, it really yeah. is. Yeah. Well, there's there's secular Buddhism now. You know, like you can be a Buddhist and go through the practices and not necessarily have the pantheon of gods or whatever. You know, but. Some of the stuff that we talked about in that class, it was like, you have to be silent to do this. Yeah. You know, to do it right. There's yeah. so much distraction in the world mm -hmm. that, like, in order for you to achieve nirvana and reach enlightenment, I don't see how you can talk and do that. Yeah. You know, it's like, I can't speak for everybody else, but sometimes I get pissed off. Yeah. And when I get pissed off, I want to say stuff, you See, know? I also think it's just the world, well, the society that we live in. We live in such a materialistic society full of social media where everybody can say exactly what's on their mind. So many things dividing us in this country, race, religion, economic values. I mean, the list goes on and on. Whenever yeah. you go to a monk temple 14,000 feet on the side of a cliff, you don't have Facebook. You don't have CNN. You just, that's what, that's your entire world right there. And I mean, I would love to say that I would like to live that lifestyle, but I'd probably go crazy. I mean, just staying in one place your entire life and not speak yeah. to anyone. It's crazy. Yeah. But so, sometimes I like the idea of isolation, but at the same time, it's like, man, People may suck, but there's some people who suck a lot less than others, you know, and I want to go talk to those people, yeah. <laughs> you know. It, 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 I mean, just <clears throat> like interaction is such a beautiful thing. And the thing that yeah. I'm sure that they interact, how do they, you would have to think that like,
they have to talk somehow. I have to watch a documentary about that. I don't know too much. Like, do they write it on a sheet of paper? What if one of them's getting chased by a bear? Or like, <laughs> or, or like their house is on fire or something, and they have to warn everybody. How do they do that? I don't... They just bring a gong. Maybe. Maybe. You know, three times for fire, four times for we're out of water. And there's that yeah. one deaf monk that's just screwed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it, yeah. It's, it's, it's fascinating, though, that there are people like that on this planet. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's, they're almost like aliens. It really is. Yeah. There was a, I watched a movie. I watched a lot of, like, Japanese films. Um, and there's a lot of, like, Edo period films, which is like kind of like the golden era for Japan. You know, every the country was prosperous, and it's when people think of Japan, that's what they think of. You know, everybody's walking around in kimonos and everything. And the um, <clears throat> bhikkhus and bhikkhunis, the monks, Buddhist monks, they would come into a village and they would basically they would go around and they were beggars. You know. They couldn't like take money for work, so they would go in the town and basically ask for donations. Yeah. And <clears throat> I watched this one movie. Um, it's called The Suffering of Ninko, and it was about this monk in training who he would have to go in the town and do all of this work for free, you know, like rebuild homes and plow fields and all this stuff not get paid for it and then have to go around and beg people for money. Yeah. You know, and then you have to go back to the temple and get beat with a stick because he wasn't concentrating hard enough, you know, and he gets, he ends up like getting tempted by this, like basically some kind of sex demon, but it was like an interesting thing to see how these people live because they would actually have to do that. You know, they would have to go do all this work for nothing and then look someone in the eye and be like, can I have some money? Like, I can't process that. You That's know? Very humbling. Very, yeah. very humbling. Yeah, incredibly. 